It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from August Steiner Brau Munchen and it's a bottle of their Dunkel coming in at 5.6% ABV. There's a look at the bottle. I, I really like these old kind of, just a couple of guys sitting around a barrel, talking, opening the barrel when they want, grabbing a beer, that kind of relaxed attitude to life. I love that. That picture tells a thousand words. It really does. Uh, great bottle cap as well. Actually, the brewery, what are they, they brought called Munchen beer. So it's the, the Munchen Rhein um which is the German purity law on the bottle cap, interestingly enough. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. 500ml bottle. Good levels of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. I'm using a, a vice beer glass. I know it's probably not the best glass for this particular beer, but I don't have many other German glasses at my disposal. So I thought I would put it in a, in a, in a vice beer glass. Beer in the glass. We got a two to three finger tan coloured head. Good levels of carbonation flowing up the glass. Look at that. It's a lovely, lovely looking beer. I would say a, a, a copper dark, mm, copper chestnut amber coloured beer. <laughs> Let's get the aroma. Oh, that smells really good. Toasty, biscuity, raisiny, bready. I'd like to thank our channel sponsors at beersofeurope.co.uk for sponsoring today's video. What a fantastic company these guys have been for me over the last three to four years. And um, they've sent me 10 beers a month for the last four years. And I don't. I don't accept money. Um, it, it's nothing. There's no money that changes hands between myself and Beers of Europe. Co. Uk. It's just I give them a shout out. I put a link in the description box, and they send me ten beers a month from all around the world. Check out the link in the description box for Beers of Europe. Co. Uk. This beer just smells terrific. Yeah, it's really bready and toasty and nutty. That's what I was looking for earlier on. A nuttiness that's coming through. It's the British equivalent of a strong dark. A dunkel. Dunkel means dark beer. But the Germans, they brew beer. Where does we brew beer at, say, three and a half, four percent? The traditional, I say traditional, say the 1960s, 70s dark beers, 1980s, 1990s even. In the UK they were like 3.5%, 4%, maybe 4.5% if you were lucky. I think they, they either call them darks or milds. Uh, they become really boring. Uh, the, the Germans, when they produced the Dunkels, they just carried on brewing them at, at, at great strength. And I applaud them for that. Let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah, that's lovely. Biscuity, bready, nutty, chewy, malty, toffee, spice, raisin. Carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth. There is so much going on with this beer. I do wonder. I, I do honestly wonder. Especially after visiting Germany. What a beautiful country. It's an absolutely fantastic country. Um, forests and, and oh, it's it's... And the beer. I'm a massive fan of German, I call it German craft beer. Beers like this with lots of flavour, 
Why can't you call it German craft beer? Really good vice beers. Why can't you call it German craft beer? Because there's an element of craft to it. It's really tasty. It's really lovely. I do wonder, should I, am I in the wrong country? I, I, know, I know, sorry if this sounds terrible even to um, some of the fantastic beer we have in the UK. It really is fantastic. But for my own palate, my own personal palate, I could see myself, for me, this is like milk. Vice beers are like milk. These dunkles are like milk. They just sink down. Or if I moved to Germany, would it be bad for my health? Because I would just be drinking these wonderful beers all of the time. And I'd be like that barrel on, on the label. <laughs> It should be, I imagine it will be bottle conditioned. Maybe not, maybe not. A lot of German beers are bottle conditioned. This has been filtered, but didn't it look good? And it tastes so good. It's just super, absolutely just, I'm all, almost lost for words. I almost want to just turn the camera off and just sit back in the chair. The sun, I'm looking at the sun through that window and I'm thinking, I just want to go and sit in the sun and do nothing but drink this beer and daydream. It's one of those daydream beers. Let's rate it. I like that beer enough, I really do. The presentation of the beer, look at the, look at the lacing on the glass. Look at that, I mean, I haven't drunk much of it. Let's drink some more. Looks good, smells good. Tastes absolutely wonderful. I, I'm gonna give that, I'm gonna give that a nine out of 10. A Stone the Crows, nine out of 10. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.